everybody, welcome back. It's Brian and we are going to do a little bit of a spoof tutorial on how to make a frame. Uh, there are many different types of frames out there. There's uh, Pro Street, there's Subframe, there's uh, Picture Frame. There's uh, all kinds of great frames out there that we can be using for our cars. And uh, the one we're going to use is uh, one that's actually can be easily modified so that we can um, lengthen it or narrow it or widen it or, or uh, shorten it. But I wouldn't really want to make it taller. That might not be a good idea. So we can uh, just adjust the measurements any which direction we want to, except on the third axis. And then uh, you can use this for just about any project you want. It can even be used for Pro Street where you want to do some tubbing in the back. So let's go ahead and get started. What are we going to use? Well, first of all, let's go through our tools list. We're going to want some nice side, scut side cutting snips. We're going to want a nice sharp hobby knife. We're going to want some CA glue. Uh, this stuff I really recommend the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin. This is the quick setting stuff. And a razor saw. These are very, very handy. So the material that we're going to be building it out of is... Junk sprue, huh? How about that? I've got boxes of this stuff all over the place, and I can't wait to start using this for something more, um, more constructive than just trying to catch mice with. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start snipping off some of the more interesting pieces on here after we draw up our template for the frame. All right, let's get onto the template. Okay, so we just quickly sketched up what we want to use for our frame, and this will be it here. We're going to have the uh, classic style X frame. Uh, this can be a little tricky because we will have to run drive shaft and exhaust around that. Uh, one of the cool ways of getting around that is, of course, not putting an exhaust on there at all. So that's an option. Uh, another way we can get around that is making it front wheel drive. So, you know, there's always uh, that kind of a thing going on, too. So it depends on what you want to do. So we're going to get to cutting some styrene, and then we're going to actually lay this out because this is one-to-one -one scale, this drawing, and we'll actually lay out our pieces on here and start gluing them up. All right, so hang on just a second, and we'll be right back with the power of pause. Okay, so what just seemed like a few moments to you guys was really about three or four hours of me cutting and slicing and splicing uh, me, but also the the, uh, the chassis pieces here from our stack of sprue, and you can see all the little bits around here that we've been slicing off. So let's talk about the front end here. Uh, we want to have this really cool looking angle, and I don't really have any sprue pieces on hand that make that angle, but I do have some G.I. Joe arms uh, left over from um, something that was exploded probably and now we're going to add those in and we can get those angles figured out just right look at that look at that so you glue the joints in place and the arms won't move and that'll be perfect and on the back end of the car we want something coming off the back of the frame here that's going to be a little bit more um, a little bit more showy so we're going to use some katana blades that's right we're gonna have some katana blades coming off the back end of this car here so that nobody tailgates this dude i tell you what and we'll glue those up like that there and uh don't worry because once we get primer on everything it'll really blend together and you'll see what i'm talking about so so stay tuned we're going to get these uh arms on here and then we're going to get those blades on there and we'll be back in a sec Okay, so uh, we had a couple more mishaps, and uh, we're okay. We don't have to go to the emergency room just yet, but uh, that, that is definitely a consideration on the horizon. But uh, we have our A-arms on place, and our katanas in the back there, so that's looking really spiffy. And now what we want to do is cut out the pieces for the back there, and I found a couple... Um, couple sections of this particular screw that look pretty good so we're going to go ahead and snip those off let's get this guy right here like that and then let's get uh, this guy looks pretty cool right here let's get that there we go and then uh, let's see here anything else we need oh I need this guy off of here there we go and do, 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 nope we're good there okay so all right so um, now, the reason why I wanted these guys was because they would be perfect for holding in a fuel tank or a fuel cell, depending on what you want to use. And uh, if we glue this one in horizontally like that, uh, we will be able to have a nice mounting surface on this little X piece right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see how they fit in place. Oh, that's going to fit pretty good. And how about this guy here? 
I tell you, that's some good guesstimating right there on my part. All right, so let's get those glued in place, and then we'll be back in a sec. And our frame is done. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at it here. Uh, we have our A arms up there in the front, and then a little bit of a cross member going on there, and then a little hoop in the back here for our rear suspension, or pumpkin, or whatever you want to call it. And then some bracing in the back for our fuel tank or fuel cell, depending on what we want to use. So let's go ahead and take this out back and uh, give it a coat of primer and see how it looks. I should probably glove up first for that. So let me just go ahead and put on a glove here. All right, that's probably going to work. That's, yep, that'll work out great. Okay, cool. Let's go out back. Okay, so we're out back on the patio and we're going to give this guy a nice quick coat of some... Um, some nice uh, fine surface primer from uh, Mr. Tamiya. And uh, we're going to make this stuff look a lot better than it was. Oh, I think it, oh, I just got, I just got bitten by something. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a black widow. All right, I should probably go. Okay, so uh, several hours later, we let the frame cure up outside while we went to urgent care and got some anti-venom. And uh, we're doing fine. We're okay. We're all all right. Uh, but uh, I did a little bit of sanding and filing on the frame to just sort of help it out a little bit. And uh, this is what we came up with. How about that? We did go ahead and glue in a fuel tank. I like the looks of that there. And... Um, we just really like how that turned out. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll be happy to get back to them as soon as I can, once I can type again. So uh, y'all take it easy. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you a little bit later on. Bye now.